Hey guys, how's it going? Tonight we are in our diving gear and we are about to go on the hunt for the giant isopod. So as you guys know, we got this new update that includes swimming and diving for new sea creatures. And ever since the update came out, I have basically been swimming nonstop and catching all the sea creatures. Um, I have most of the sea creatures for the Northern Hemisphere, the only one that escapes me is the giant isopod. So I thought I'd make this video and just see how long it takes me to catch it. Um, I did originally think about doing this as a live stream, but let's be real, I do not have the energy to go on a live stream for however long it takes me um, to catch this thing. So I thought it would be a lot easier if I just did a little video. And also that way I can kind of keep it shorter than a live stream and hopefully less boring because I feel like not everyone wants to see me like swim around my island in circles forever trying to catch this one thing. So I thought I'd just do like a quick little video. Um, and yeah, uh, so we're just gonna like get right into this. We're just gonna jump into the water like so uh, and just start swimming. So yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure how long this is gonna take me. Uh, I have tried to find the giant isopod before, obviously, when I was swimming around and diving for other sea creatures, uh, but I just haven't had the chance to come across it. Uh, so this is what I'm on a mission for, and so I'm gonna be ignoring all of the other sea creatures. So yeah, uh, basically my approach to this is diving under the water to see what size the shadow is. Oh. Well, we just ran into you, uh, but yeah. So basically, I'll dive underwater, see what size the shadow is. If it's big, then I know that it's a chance of being a giant isopod, but another factor about the giant isopod is that it's super fast. So that's another factor. So basically, you dive under, you see the size of the shadow. It's quite big, but it's moving kind of slow. So that is not what we're looking for. So we're just gonna keep going. Um, but yeah, so not sure how long this is going to take me. I'm starting today. What's the date? It's the 6th of July. It is 10 to 11, uh, on a Monday night. And we're just going to see if I even catch it tonight because, you know, realistically, uh, because this is a rare spawn of a creature, I don't know if I'm going to find it tonight. I don't know if I'm going to find it tomorrow. I don't know when I'm gonna find it basically. So that's why I wanted to do a video. I wanted to see uh, if I was gonna get it and when. Uh, and so yeah, uh, I want you guys to wish me luck as we start on this adventure together. Okay, so we have made our first lap around the island and so far, no luck. Um, I've seen plenty of bubbles. I've seen plenty of big shadows, but no one is really fast enough to be the giant isopod. Um, so I like looked up a video before of like what to look for when you're looking for a specific sea creature. Um, so like I've looked up videos like how to catch a giant isopod. And uh, what I've seen from those is that the giant isopod is really fast. Um, very similar to the giant clam. Um, and I've already caught a giant clam. Uh, someone's got a thought bubble up here. So let's go see what they want. Um, but yeah, so to catch a giant isopod, they have to be super fast. Um, kind of like, ooh, what's my move? What is it, Roscoe? Oh no! Oh, you need a shaved ice maker and I have one? Okay. Uh, cool. But yeah, so anyway, back to the water. Uh, yeah, so basically, giant isopod, super fast, super hard to catch, uh, very similar to a giant clam. I already caught a giant clam and honestly, I don't think I was ready for how fast it was actually going to be. Uh, but they're like super speedy and they're really hard to catch when you're like swimming like this uh, Because they just swim faster than you and you have to like it's a whole big wild goose chase um, So I've learned that when I discover said giant isopod I will um, Just like sneak up to it like this So do my little like slow swim uh, So if I do that then it should be easier to catch because then it'll like not swim as fast Um so yeah, like I, I know what to look for. I have my tactics down. I just need one to spawn on my island. So 
so I hope we get it. I mean, I I think I'll get it eventually. Like, I feel like no matter what, I will get one. Um, but I just hope that I get it soon. Because it's actually driving me crazy that I have, like, one seed creature that I need to get for this month and I don't have it. Because I want to complete all my bug and fish collections and stuff uh, within the first year of Animal Crossing New Horizons being out. And because we've been in lockdown, I feel like I'm going to do it. Uh, and I say this with confidence because uh, I checked my Critterpedia and I literally only need one bug and two fish to complete my entire bug and fish collections. Um, I know, I can't believe it either, that's so wild because I thought that it was going to take me a lot longer to complete the collections but uh, because I was able to visit some southern hemisphere islands um, like in the earlier days, uh, so whenever they were in the summer and we were in spring, um, I was able to catch like a lot of good fish and bugs then uh, and obviously it's summer now in Animal Crossing so I got all of the like new summer bugs and everything. Um, so yeah, like I just need like one bug uh it's like the dung beetle and then i need like two fish i need the blow the like blow fish i think it is um uh he's moving quite fast but he's not fast enough um but yeah so i need the blow fish and i also need a pond smelt like those are the three things that i need to complete my bug of fish collections and that's crazy to me. I've never completed the bug and fish collections uh, in any Animal Crossing game I've played before. Uh, so this will be a huge accomplishment for me and I'm super excited. Uh, and that's also why I'm trying to get my sea creature collection caught up. Um, so um, last night I did have the opportunity to go to a southern hemisphere island. So I did catch some southern hemisphere sea creatures but um I still need quite a few more so if anyone watching has a southern hemisphere island that they don't mind me visiting to catch sea creatures that'd be great also if you don't mind if I could come to your island so that I could catch the three bugs and fish I'm missing because um the bugs and fish and stuff that I'm missing are available in winter uh but because I'm in the northern hemisphere I'm going to have to wait until you know the winter months to catch those things but if someone can let me go to their southern hemisphere island I could complete them a lot quicker <laughs> um but yeah so like that's been my goal this year I've been really on top of like catching all my bugs and fish every time it's a new month I always look up the guides online I'm like okay what fish and bugs do I need to catch let's go and that is why I'm trying so hard to get my giant isopod because I want to get all of the sea creatures for June or July even, we're in July. Uh, I wanna get all the sea creatures for July um, to complete my collection uh, because I want my museum to look the bomb. And uh, I think that I will succeed in getting you know all my bugs and fish and stuff uh, by the end of the year. But uh, that being said, my painting collection in the museum, you guys, if you watch my museum video, you know I have four paintings in my entire museum because Red refuses to show up for me. Uh, I just swam past him. Red is here today, yes he is. Um, this is literally like the fourth time he's been on my island. Um, but he decided to grace me with his presence and bring me all fake paintings. So we're not friends with Red. Uh, it's really rude of him to show up after a month and a bit and only give me fake paintings. Um, so yeah that's what's going on I'm mad at red because I can't complete my museum because he just doesn't want to play ball with me but yeah uh, even if I complete the rest of my museum I'll be really happy um, the museum in Animal Crossing New Horizons is beautiful I'm obsessed that's why I did that museum video because I really wanted to like show what it would look like when it's full um, I really wish that I waited until this week to actually do that video because I was missing quite a few bugs when I did that uh, museum video but ever since uh, July hit and we got all those new beetles and stuff that we could catch, uh, my museum's looking a lot fuller now. Um, literally one bug away guys, one bug away from, <laughs> from completing my bug collection. Uh, so yeah, uh, I do wish that I waited maybe just a little bit longer to film that video so that I could show you guys, you know, 
the museum with all the bugs and stuff but if you guys have been keeping up with all the bug catching and fishing as I have you know keeping on top and like looking out to see when things become available and stuff you guys should pretty much already have pretty full museums as well so I mean I guess you don't really need to watch my video but I thought it was still a nice video to make uh, something nice especially for people that don't have Animal Crossing uh, so yeah I just wanted to show the museum off because I love it so much um, and soon hopefully it'll be like a fully complete museum and that'll be really exciting um, if only Red would decide to give me some real paintings but anyway, enough of my rambling. We have just passed the pier again, meaning that we have completed our second lap of the island. And we're still no closer to getting that giant isopod. Um, I feel like I've seen less bubbles this time than the first time I went around. Uh, so we'll just keep going. We'll just keep seeing what happens. I have considered going to Mystery Islands to catch... The giant isopod but I don't know if it'll make much of a difference um, I did go to a mystery island um, a few nights ago because I wanted to see if I had more luck there catching certain bugs and stuff I did catch bugs and I did catch uh, some new sea creatures and stuff but I've actually found that you can get a pretty decent amount of stuff to spawn on your actual island like in terms of like looking for specific bugs and stuff like um, like the palm tree beetles and stuff I feel like I found quite a lot of those on my own island so I've kind of just like stuck to um, trying to catch things on my own island before I would go to mystery islands um, and also with all the new bugs and stuff I have definitely been playing Animal Crossing a lot more in terms of actually going around my island and you know like just you know just spending time on your island and stuff because over the last couple of weeks all I've really been doing is like my daily Animal Crossing routine and then I would like kind of log off and not play again for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, ever since this update and ever since like July came and we had all these new bugs and stuff to catch, I've been spending a lot of time on my island um, just because I've been trying to catch all these things and stuff and it's been nice. Um, because I just forgot how nice it is just to like spend time on your own island. I feel like uh, as you play the game more you kind of have less and less reason to play just because you know you've done a lot of stuff you've like completed everything your island looks the way you want it to um, it's really hard to like keep up the habit of wanting to play the game when you've basically done everything um, which I think is like the danger of Animal Crossing especially when you have it in lockdown because I feel like everyone's like this they're having a little bit of burnout when it comes to Animal Crossing um, so I think it's nice that Nintendo can release these updates and things and keep us kind of rejuvenated and bring us back in because we want to play. Um, that being said, I, like, I've still been playing Animal Crossing every single day. There's definitely not been a day where I haven't played. Um, there have been days where I've definitely played less than normal, but I wouldn't say that I've ever like not played the game for a day. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens after the first year. Um, because I feel like, for me, anyway, uh, when I played Animal Crossing New Leaf, I played every single day for a year with that game. And then uh, I started to kind of have a little bit of burnout and not really want to play it as much. Because, you know, once you play for a year in Animal Crossing and you've experienced all the special events and everything, you've done everything for the year, um, you do start to play a lot less just because you've already seen everything and nothing's really exciting and new. Um, so we'll see how New Horizons is after the first year, um, after they get through all the initial updates and things, we'll see what happens. My hope for the game is that they do continue to provide us with updates, even after they do all the initial updates for the first year, after they get all the core functionality out and things like that. Um, I do hope that they still continue to update the game, um, at least for a few more years after the initial year, just because I would love to see lots more features added to the game. Um, because with the way the updates are going now, you guys can totally tell that Nintendo had lots of ideas um, and plans for this actual game. Oh, okay, we just ran into you. <laughs> uh, not what we need though, not a giant isopod. Um, but yeah, so like as you guys can tell with these updates, I feel like all of the updates that we're getting now were features that Nintendo were hoping to get out for the initial release of the game. But because 
they ran out of time developing, they decided to release the game as is and then release all these things as an update. Um, so I think that you guys can tell like they originally wanted to have so much in the game um, but didn't get time to finish them. So like that's why we're getting all these updates. Uh, but I hope that once they, you know, kind of got all those features that they were working on out, that they still continue to develop and bring more things to us because I feel like there are some aspects in which Animal Crossing New Horizons is lacking compared to other Animal Crossing games. And one of the things, especially for me, that I have an issue with in this game is the lack of furniture. Um, yeah, so I don't know if anyone else has this struggle, but I really struggle with the furniture that we have in Animal Crossing. And I feel like it's very limited in New Horizons. Um, because like with the other Animal Crossing games there were like so many different furniture sets that you could collect and there was like just so many more items that you can get. Um, I know that Nintendo have definitely stepped it up in terms of new items, um, in terms of like DIY recipes, but like even then I feel like it's really hard to decorate if you don't like the aesthetic of the DIY recipes because like DIY recipes are easy enough to get. Um, but actual furniture items that you can buy, I feel like there's not many. Um, and I feel like that's one of the reasons why we only get one Nook's Cranny upgrade, because if we got a, another one and they had more objects on display, like we would get cycling through them very easily and very quickly. Um, and also along with that, I feel like another reason why we have very little furniture is because anytime I see people doing like catalog parties and stuff, it's always the same furniture and it's probably because we don't have that many furniture sets. I feel like literally once you have the Imperial set, once you have the kit set, once you have the diner set, I mean you basically have all the furniture sets in Animal Crossing New Horizons and that kind of sucks. I mean they did add the mermaid set which is good. Um, I always enjoy a new set of furniture but even then I've already seen people with like the entire mermaid set already so I mean uh, I really wish they would step up their furniture game so I'm hoping for that in new updates. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have anything that you think is lacking in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, I already made that video about things that annoy me in Animal Crossing so I'm not about to launch into another one of those. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share my thoughts. Um, Aurora, you're thinking on the pier. Let's go see what she wants. Um, and also, uh, us being on the pier, that marks our third lap around the island and still no giant isopod. Part of me does wish that there was like an easier way for me to do this. Um, like I wish there was like a, oh no, oh, oh, he's kind of fast. Okay, I caught him. Okay, thought I didn't. Okay, vampire squid already caught you um but yeah uh part of me wishes there was an easier way to do this i wish there was like some kind of way that i could like spawn different sea creatures other than just swimming around because you know to spawn new bugs to spawn new fish you just kind of scare them away but you don't really have that with sea creatures you just got to keep swimming and hope for the best a few moments later okay so i find this guy He's a little fast. He's moving kind of crazy. I'm not really sure what he is. Um, could be... I'm not going to get my hopes up and say it's a giant isopod, but it's something suspicious. So we're just going to wait over here and see what it is. Knowing my luck, it's probably one of those vampire squids again because it's moving erratically, but we'll see. Damn it, he escaped me again. Seriously? Dude. Okay. Kind of trapped you over here, dude. No! Come back! Come on! Let us have you! What are you? Come on! It's too fast! Oh my god, if this isn't it, I'm gonna be so mad because like I've just been chasing it for ages. Come on! No! We're still really... Oh! 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 No! It's escaping us! God damn! Two hours later. Yes! Are you serious? I chased this thing for like five minutes and it's just a giant clam. I'm very disappointed. That's not what this video is for. That's not what we came here for. 
That's so rude. Well, I guess we just keep going. I'm very sad about that. I thought I got it. I thought I saw it. I chased it for ages and it wasn't even what we were looking for. God damn it, guys. We were so close. I was so excited. I thought we were finally going to have our giant isopod, but it just turned out to be a giant clam. All right. So we've made it back to the pier. I think this was like our fourth trip around the island and no luck. Uh, we did catch a giant clam though, which is great, although I don't need one of those. I think I'm going to give it up for tonight. I was at this for at least an hour or so almost. Um, yeah, just like 15 minutes I was doing this for and uh, yeah, um, definitely a struggle. Definitely going to be a multi-day kind of thing. Um, I think tomorrow we'll try a mystery island and see if that's better, uh, but I'm not quite sure. We'll just see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm leaving it here for now, guys. Uh, I will check back in with you tomorrow and we will continue our hunt for the giant isopod. Hey guys, so it is now Tuesday. It is day two of the giant isopod hunt um, and we're just going to dive right in to the ocean and just get this search started. So yesterday we did, uh, oh, oh, he's kind of fast. Is this it? <laughs> I'd actually die if this is it so early, um, but I think it's a little too slow. Yeah, that's a squid um, or an octopus even. I said squid, uh, but yeah. So yesterday we did about five laps of the island and we did not catch a giant isopod, mainly because I don't think one spawned. Um, but we did catch a giant clam, which was a struggle in itself, but um, I already donated a giant clam to the museum, so we don't need one of those. Um, my main focus is on the giant isopod. If we catch other things on the way, that's okay, but like, the main goal of this video is to catch the giant isopod. Um, so yeah, what I think we'll do today is I'm going to take a quick lap around the island and if we're still not getting anything, we shall try a mystery island. Um, I feel like we could have better luck on a mystery island. Who knows? I feel like uh, because it's a smaller area to swim around, we'll get more spawns more quickly. I think I said yesterday um, that uh, I have been mostly staying on my island when it comes to catching new bugs and fish and stuff like that because I have found that you know you can get quite a lot of things to spawn on your island rather than uh, always going to a mystery island but at the same time uh, sometimes it can be a lot easier to do things on mystery islands especially if you're looking for bugs or fish because it's a lot easier to scare bugs and fish away from uh, trees and stuff on mystery islands because it's like more compact so um, you know it's a lot easier to like run around and scare off all the bugs so that you can spawn more bugs whereas your island is quite big um, and it can take a long time to get the bug that you want to spawn um, so maybe it'll be similar with sea creatures maybe it's like the smaller surface area will cause more spawns to happen as we swim around uh, but who really knows uh, we'll just uh, Take it and see what happens. Hmm, okay, okay. This dude's kind of fast. He's getting somewhere. Hmm. Potential, potential. Could be it, could be it. Try not to get my hopes up after the last time. Nope. Just a crab. Okay. I think I need to like take more time and like study it underwater before I'm like really sure of what it is um, but also I'm kind of curious what's this oh just an acorn barnacle okay um, but yeah so basically now today I feel like I'm a little bit jumpy I feel like anything that I dive under and I see that it's moving even a little bit I'm kind of suspicious of um, but I should be more focused on the size of the shadow and also just how fast it is moving. Um, but yeah, you can never be too sure with these things because last night, even whenever um, I was chasing after the clam, uh, in the beginning, I wasn't really sure if it was going to be anything or if it was going to be nothing because I was underwater and I was like pretty sure I could have caught it first go. Um, 
but I wanted to chase it around a bit just to be sure before I like was ready to end the video basically um so yeah I don't know I think I need to just like stay underneath and like see what happens okay well you're not it then you might be a scallop I haven't got my scallop today so I haven't got my DIY or whatever from Pascal so we'll see okay no you're a whelk okay you're no help to me yay we got our scallop let's see what Pascal's got for me today there are two kinds of things stuff that is an orange and stuff that is not an orange man I mean he's not wrong there are things that are oranges and things that aren't <laughs> stick that in your skillet and let it simmer today is a good day I hope so I hope today's a good day I hope today's the day that I get my giant isopod um, what did he leave me let's see did he give me a DIY oh he gave me a pearl nice I'm at the bottom barrier okay so I've done my lap on my island still no luck on the giant isopod front we're just gonna come back to shore we're going to put the pearl in my house inventory uh, and then sell the sea creatures that we have um, because we have like a few sea creatures in our pocket so we're gonna sell those at Tom Nook's and then we will go to our mystery island and see if we can get ourselves a giant isopod okay so we have arrived on our mystery island we are on bamboo island and normally I would be excited about bamboo island because what we can do on this island is cut down all the bamboo and farm for some scorpions uh, but that's not what we came here for what we came here for was our giant isopod so sadly I'm just gonna ignore a beautiful bamboo island and we're just gonna head straight into the ocean Woo! In case you guys couldn't tell, I really love doing the little flip off the pier. I think it's so fun. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go swimming around, see what we got on this island, see what we got to offer. What is this? <gasps> A jellyfish. Okay. Not what we came here for, but still cute. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a bug on that tree. What is it? Oh, nothing rare. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So we're here. We're gonna swim around, we're gonna see if we can get some more spawns, hopefully one of the giant isopod. Um, here's a fun game if you guys are watching this video. Drink every time I say giant isopod. Um, I really wish that I could stop saying it, but honestly, like we're here for that one thing and that one thing only, so I gotta keep saying it because we gotta keep visualizing the goal. Mm, okay, okay. He's moving kind of fast, but is he moving too fast? Oh, that's the real question. Hmm. No, no. I feel like I could catch him. Yeah. No, that's not it. The shadow was kind of suspicious, but it's ultimately um, not fast enough, I think. What about you over here? What are you like? Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. This might be it. Ooh, ooh. This could be good, this could be good. Oh my god, Amber cornered him. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. No! Come back! No, no, no! Eh! Get back here! I had you cornered and then you then you outmaneuvered me. Oh goodness. If this is it, I'll actually be so happy. I mean, like, we, we've barely been here five minutes and come on. Two hours later. Aha! okay and it's another clam okay okay cute cute not what we came here for um but okay our second lap is over and we still got nothing i wonder if i have to catch some stuff to maybe change the spawn rate or something i really don't know like i don't know if there's a way to like despawn sea creatures or whatever um I didn't really do that much research into the spawning of sea creatures compared to like other things but you know we'll just keep going see what happens uh, I think that we'll do a few laps of this mystery island and I guess move on to another one or something I don't know our third lap around the island and you guessed it nothing um, 
yeah so I think maybe like five laps is probably good to do around a mystery island and then uh, we'll come back to my island we might do another lap there and then maybe try our luck on another mystery island um, hopefully like the changing up of like different places will help us get more probability of one spawning um, but I'm not really sure if it does I mean I'm just trying to hedge my bets hope for the best because uh, you never know what you're gonna get whenever you're in the ocean our fourth little trip around the island and still nothing that resembles a giant isopod whatsoever um, everything is just kind of still or like slow moving nothing's really giving anything away um, but we're on our fifth lap right now so we'll see if anything changes otherwise I think it's time to pack up and find some new island to go to hopefully we'll have more luck there who knows okay so I've come back to my own island and I thought we would do a quick little lap of this island to see if anything new or exciting has spawned and then after we do this then we shall head to another mystery island and see what happens uh, because I'm determined to find a way to get this thing to spawn one way or another um because I'm not giving up until we catch one so yeah let's see what happens what are you mm. let's see this guy's kind of fast the mm, no the shadow's too small it's another pencil urchin cute but not what we need so we'll keep going well guys another lap around my island and it was unsuccessful nothing really exciting spawned although I did catch a couple of octopuses octopi um, some urchins a sea slug and a horseshoe crab um, so yeah nothing great nothing exciting um, I think it's time for us to take that trip to that mystery island um, and hopefully we have some luck there though honestly at this rate who knows <laughs> um, I want to stay positive I want to keep it up uh, but we'll just see what happens okay mystery island number two and we are on uh, not an exciting island okay doesn't really matter what it looks like because we're here for one thing and one thing only um, to dive into the ocean so let's go all right so I just completed our first lap of the island and still nothing really of interest uh, hopefully something uh, more interesting appears after we do a few more laps who knows um, though knowing my luck let's be real it'll probably be another giant clam um, which I guess isn't too bad I mean they are they do sell for quite a lot of money and stuff so that's kind of nice um, but it would just be nice if we could catch this giant isopod all right so coming up to our third lap of the island still no sign of a giant isopod still no sign of anything really that um, could be something similar to that uh, so I think you know we'll go along for a couple more laps and see what happens but I'm not feeling good about this island I feel like um, we might have to leave and uh, maybe go to another island maybe go back to my island who knows um, oh oh okay not it um, but you know this might be maybe moving on to like a third day search maybe because um, I'm kind of tired right now uh, so maybe maybe we'll have to extend the search until another day um, which you know is fine uh, not ideal uh, I definitely wasn't really sure how long this is gonna take but I definitely didn't expect it to be this long because even when I was trying to catch the new bugs for July there were some that I just couldn't get to spawn for me um, so it was a bit challenging but I did get them after you know three or four days of searching um, but this this has just completely escaped me so who knows when I'm gonna catch it um, oh oh 
No. Okay. Nah. I didn't think it would be that easy to catch it. Okay, so... Um, I think we just completed our third... Fourth? Third or fourth lap around the island. Uh, we're gonna do one more. See what we can get. Although, honestly... I don't think we're getting it tonight. I don't think this is the night. So, um, after I complete this lap, I'm going to do one more lap of my island, hoping for the best. Um, and if nothing comes of it, then I guess I'm just going to have to give up for another night. And we're just going to have to keep going till tomorrow because, like I said, guys, I'm not going to give up until I get this giant isopod. And so, yeah, we just got to keep going. We got to complete our collection. Okay, so... Just completed our last lap in this mystery island. Still no sign of a giant isopod, so take us home, Wilbur. We have made it back to Reverie, and it is time for our final lap around the island for tonight. Um, hopefully, we might get it this time. We might not. Either way, um, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what comes of this. Um, actually... Uh, I realized that before I dived, I really should have um, emptied my pockets because I think my pockets are actually full um, just from catching other things when I was on that mystery island. Um, yeah, so my pockets are full right now, so I'm going to quickly go um, and sell all the things in the little drop-off box and then we'll go back into the ocean and see what we can find. A few moments later... Oh my god, what the heck? Guys, I did it? Um, literally, y'all gotta instant replay that. I literally, I was just swimming, I dove down, it literally swam right at me. Like, it literally swam at me. I, I'm so shook, oh my goodness. Let me record this for a second, hold on, what the heck? Wasn't even expecting it. There it is, guys, this is it, gah. This is my giant isopod. Oh my god. I am so happy right now. Like, so happy right now. Oh my goodness. We did it. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. I'm more close to my secret beach so I can, like, get out of the ocean. This is amazing. We did it. Ah! Goodness, I was actually going and seeing swimming around and around on my island and around the mystery islands. I'm so happy. We finally got it. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we did it. I'm so excited. This is so amazing. Um, I can't believe that that was so easy. Like, I just can't believe that everything sort of aligned right there. Like, I was just swimming along, minding my own business, and it literally swam at me. I was expecting it to swim away. I thought it was going to be like when I was catching that giant clam. I thought it was going to be a struggle. But no, that, I did it. <laughs> it was right there. Um, so yeah, uh, I did it, guys. I have now caught every sea creature that I need to for the northern hemisphere. Um, that's super exciting. Um, I have caught a few in the southern hemisphere, like I said. Um, let me just uh, get up my little app real quick so I can show you. Um, yeah, so this is all of the sea creatures that I've caught so far. As you guys can see, this is literally like 75% of um, all the creatures that I need to catch. Um, hopefully I can catch the rest of the Southern Hemisphere ones really soon and that means that there'll only be a few left to complete my collection. Um, but yeah, there it is. Giant isopod right there. Uh, it's really gross looking, but I mean, I did it. I'm so happy. Uh, this literally has taken me days um, because before I started filming this video, I was trying to catch it before. Um, so, you know, I've been trying like every single day to catch all of the things and this just happened to be the last one. Um, and so, yeah, super exciting, super fab. Uh, I'm going to go donate this to Blathers real quick uh, and then see what he says and then we can end the video because I did it. This was so exciting. <laughs>
this is undoubtedly a giant isopod. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your giant isopod? Yes, please tell me. Growing up to nearly 20 inches, the sea-dwelling giant isopod is the world's largest cousin of the pill bug. Nice. <laughs> 20 inches, 20 times this revolting, I say, literally, same. Um, if this was real life, I would not be diving for sea creatures, I would not be fishing the fish, I would not be catching any bugs. Um, that's only a thing I do in Animal Crossing. Uh, making matters worse for those of us who find the pill bug repulsive rather than cute, the giant isopod can swim shockingly fast and is known for its ferocious appetite. Well, it did swim really fast, but it swam directly at me, which means that catching it was no big deal. Um, in fact, it's most happy when dining on the carcasses of animals that have sunk to the bottom of the sea. Glamorous, we love this. Um, this behavior has earned it a nickname, the vacuum cleaner of the deep, amazing, super great, super fun. Uh, why must nature play such awful pranks on me? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Fabulous! Um, nothing else today bothers. That's cool. Um, actually, you know what? While we're here, let's just go look at it. Let's go see what it looks like in the museum while we're here. We gotta really savor this moment of actually having it in our possession. So, let's go find it. There it is on the bottom of the ocean floor next to... I think that's the sea slug. Ew, that's so gross. Um, but yeah, there you have it, guys. I finally caught my giant isopod. Yay! <laughs> um, so thank you guys for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments below what has been the hardest sea creature for you guys to catch. Um, obviously for me, it is the giant isopod. I just had a lot of struggle getting it to spawn, but the actual catching of it I guess is really easy um, so I guess the hardest one for me that's actually been a struggle to catch has been the giant clam um, even though you know I already caught three of those um, in total while trying to make this video and otherwise um, but yeah anyway uh, like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys